In this video, I'll create this picture using a few surface modeling commands. I'll start with these objects to create the body, spout, and handle for the model. I'll be using the 3D modeling workspace with the realistic visual style. From the surface tab, I'll select revolve and revolve this spline around the center line. I'll select the spline and press enter. For the axis, I can give two points along this center line, or I can press enter and select the center line and enter 360 for the revolution angle. I'll hold down the shift key and mouse wheel button while moving the mouse to change the view of the model. When creating 3D models, you'll find that you pan and zoom and change the view a lot. Looks good so far. Now I'll extrude this circle into the body of the picture. I'll use a solid that will be used to trim the surface and form the cutout for the pour spout. From the solid tab, I'll select extrude. I'll select the circle, press enter, and drag to create the cylinder for the spout. I want the cylinder to go into the body of the pitcher, but not through the bottom. Next, I'll subtract the spout from the body to trim the surface. I'll select subtract and select the body of the pitcher and press enter. This task dialog informs me that using a solid and a surface together in some cases is not an ideal action. In this case, I'm using the solid as a throwaway object, so I click to continue the subtraction. I'll select the cylinder and press enter. I'll create the spout using the loft command to create a loft surface between the edge of the trim surface and the spline for the top of the spout. From the surface tab, I'll select loft. Pressing the control key allows me to select the trimmed edge of the surface. Now I'll select the top edge of the spout and press enter to create the surface and enter again to accept the defaults. Next I'll use sweep to create the handle of the pitcher. First I'll select this object for the profile of the handle and press enter, then the path I want the profile to follow. With the handle created, our pitcher is really starting to take shape. I'll use trim to trim the handle flush with the body of the pitcher. I'll select the handle and press enter, then the body of the pitcher for the cutting edge and press enter. Now I'll select the piece of the handle inside the pitcher to trim. Our pitcher is really looking good, but we need to complete the bottom. I'll use patch and select the edge of the pitcher and press enter to create the bottom and press enter again to accept the defaults. I'd like to create a base on the pitcher so it stands off the table. I'll offset the patch to give the base a little height. The arrows indicate the direction of the offset. If needed, I can use the flip option to change the direction. I'll enter 0.75 for the offset distance and press enter. Now I'll blend the bottom of the pitcher with the body. I'll start by erasing the original base surface that is no longer needed. I'll select Blend and select the edge of the bottom surface as the first edge and press Enter, then the edge of the pitcher as the second edge and press Enter. Now I'll use the Continuity Grip to adjust the continuity and the bulge magnitude of the surface. This will adjust how the two surfaces blend together. For continuity, I'll select G1 for the first edge and G2 for the second edge and press Enter. Next, I'll select the bulge magnitude and type 3 for the first edge and 1 for the second edge, then press Enter. This will give the base a nice taper. With just a few surface commands, I was able to create this nice looking model. 